This is a brief demonstration of Crucial's exclusive Enterprise Backup System now available in our custom cPanel. We're not going to discuss the importance of backups in this video. If you don't understand the importance of backups, just go to Google and read some of the catastrophic stories of those who didn't have a backup strategy in place. We'll run through the entire system from signing up to restoring a single file. In the following screencast, we'll restore an entire directory as well as a MySQL database and we'll run through this in just a few minutes. It's that easy. In this case, we're in Shell and we make a mistake and delete an important file from a Magento installation. Of course, we didn't make a backup of this file. We weren't expecting this to happen. So we're just going to go ahead and delete this important file real quick. At this point, we can see now that the mage.php file is missing from the directory. If we go back to the original website now, we'll see that it is broken. Oh no. Stop. Don't worry. You've got a backup in cPanel. Let's pull up our cPanel so we can get access to the automated backup system. So let's go ahead and log into cPanel. Ooh, backup's not active. It doesn't look like I signed up, but wait. Click Manage Backups. Regardless of which plan we choose, we're going to get instant access to the last internal backup that was taken, which is less than 24 hours ago. But a quick look at the added benefits of the premium plan, which includes all of the features of the basic plan, and you also get 30 days instead of 7 daily backups of all files and databases. The premium plan also comes with HTTPS access for easy download of your archived backups and 100 gigabytes of backup space to archive off specific backups forever. And this 100 gigabytes is above and beyond the space your backups take, which has no limit. The 30-day automated backups and two professional free backup restorations sold it for me. That's only $16.58 per month. Impressively inexpensive for an automated, secure, remote backup system that keeps 30 days of daily file and database backups and offers an additional 100 gigabytes of storage space for select backups forever. Let's get access to this file and get it restored. The first step is signing up for the backup product. We'll go ahead and sign up right through cPanel. Click on the Sign Up Now button on the product of your choice. We now need to authorize the purchase of this service. Only the account owner, the person paying for the account, can order the backup product, so we need to choose how to authenticate we are authorized to make this payment. We can do two things. Send an authorization email to the primary billing contact for them to authorize by clicking on a link in the email or provide the last four digits of the credit card on file. We'll go ahead and provide the last four digits of the credit card on file for convenience. Now just enter the last four digits of your credit card on file and click the authorize sign up button. After successful payment, you are now on the backups page again, and we can see that we have access to the last 30 days of daily backups. But in this scenario, we only need one file, mage.php and we need to restore that file ASAP. So we're going to go with the most recent backup available and dated, as you can see, the day prior to this screencast. Perfect.
Okay, let's get this file. On the right hand side of the column for the backup, you'll see a tab that says Home Files. Click on that. We need to begin a new restoration to get the backup ready. Under the restoration controls, click on Begin New Restoration. The system wants to know what we want to create a backup of. You can choose your entire home directory or a specific directory, but in this case we really only need one file and we know the path to the directory that the file is located in. So we'll just restore that one directory which contains the one file that we need. We'll add the full path to the directory we want to restore since it contains the one file that we really need. With the Restore a Specific Directory option selected and the full path to the directory to restore in place, click on the Restore button. Your backup is now being prepared and you can view the process as it occurs in the left hand side of the backup column. This backup took just less than one minute to generate and is now complete. It's showing restored about an hour ago because I took a short break. Now that the restoration has been completed, you can access this directory securely stored on Crucial's backup recovery system using SFTP. You can find the SFTP login credentials at the top of the backups page. This should be a temporary password for high security, so simply generate a new password when necessary. You can see the location that the backup is stored on the SFTP server under the Restoration State tab. Now we just use SFTP to grab the file. Back on our production system, the one with the deleted mage.php file, we'll use SFTP to connect to the remote backup system where your backup resides. Since we'll be using SFTP's git command to copy the file, let's go ahead and change directories to where the mage.php file once was, which in this case we're already in. Now let's use SFTP to copy over our backup file. We'll use shell here to copy the file directly to the server, but you could use an SFTP Windows-based client to download your file directly from the SFTP server and then upload it to the production server if you would like. The format of the SFTP login is very simple. It's just user at hostname, and this information is at the top of your backups page in cPanel. We'll enter this command, and then we'll need to enter our SFTP password. We now need to change directories on the backup server that we're now connected to and where the backup exists. Let's list the directories on the SFTP server. We are accessing a home directory backup, or a subdirectory of the home directory in this case, so change directories to the home directory. Here's the backup we just generated of the public HTML underscore app directory, conveniently date stamped. So let's change directories into this directory. And now let's list the contents of this directory as well. And there is the file we want, mage.php. We can now use the git command in SFTP to copy this mage.php file to our current location on our server. Let's copy that file back into place real quick.
We've now got our backup file and we're done in SFTP. We can go ahead and close this out now by typing exit at the prompt. Back on our local server, we can see that the file has been restored from the backup server to the local server by listing the directory. The very important file is now back in place and it's time to recheck the website to make sure everything is working again. And there it is, in all its glory. Looks great, and we're back in business with a fully automated daily backup solution for both files and databases. Be sure to check out the backup page in cPanel for in-depth how-tos and more information regarding our enterprise backup solution. As always, if you have any questions at all that we can assist you with, please use our help desk located at support.crucialwebhost.com or send email to support at crucialwebhost.com.